so the topic for today, let's talk about focus. Uh, Lachlan, a friend of mine, he, he interned at High Rise. He's doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'll, I'll link up his links in, in a comment below when I when I get around to this. Um, Lachlan asked on fo on uh, on Twitter, like, how do I focus when you have a lot of stuff to do? Okay, we're going. We're going. I'll get back to it. I'll show you something I can do. What are you gonna do with my my tube? Well, can I? You look like you're in the moon. Hello. Happy Sunday. We've got swim class in now and we're a little late. My friend and I have to get there right now. Let's go. Pretty morning, Alan. I saw a pumpkin. Oh, nice. A car. Oh, cool. We should do that soon, maybe today. What a gorgeous sky out here. Look at her. So Lachlan asked about focus. I think, to me, you know, there's all these, I think most people when they're worried about focus, they're worried about like, well, distractions. And they, they use all the software to kind of even measure their distractions, to turn off the distractions on their computer and stuff. I don't know, it's like, I think there's a bigger meta problem to just worrying about what's distracting you. So I think the meta, meta thing I was talking about that's like more important than getting rid of distractions is like just getting clear on what the most important thing is, the priority of your life. Uh, this is also a reminder that there are not, there's not really priorities, there's just really a priority in the things that you do. Priorities, the plural, hasn't become, that, that became part of our language in like the late 90s or something like that or some, sometime in this like in the last like couple decades or something like that we started using the word priorities um, but it used to just be about one thing. For like high rise, like it's, it was, when we took over high rise, it was product development. It was like getting people confident that we were like improving the product. But right now, it's marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. And so it helps me focus on what I need to do. I know I can't spend as much time on these other things that are product development related, doing design and development, which I was doing before because I know I need to spend more time with marketing. So I know Lachlan, he's a young guy, he's still got school going on, and so I'm not, this isn't advice about how, what he needs to focus on or the most important thing, but if I were to put myself in his shoes, kind of where I was back then, the most important thing for someone in school is just educating themselves. Um, and so that, that priority changed my life around. I used to be, I overwhelmed by the number of things I used to have to do in places like high school and college. But when I got clear that the most important thing was to focus on education versus kind of getting things done and getting things accomplished, it changed things. I knew I could turn in an assignment later. I didn't worry so much about the grade. I just worried about actually taking education out of it. That, that just become, by naming what that priority was in my life, it changed things around. I, I worried less about how well I was doing in volleyball. I worried less about you know the grade I got on something, a test. Um, I knew if I focused on simply just making sure I was educating myself and kind of squeezing as much education as I could out of school, I was gonna be okay. We are going to go get pumpkins, and this is ex another example. Like, the Bears game is on right now. I'd like to watch it, but my daughter wants to go get pumpkins. I'd rather pause the Bears game and go get pumpkins than Maybe we'll finish the Bears game. Probably we will, but it's more important to spend time with her and to go on this adventure because I know exactly where my priority is. Lachlan might be coming from is as a student. I think another priority a student has isn't, it's, it's, it's doing as many things as possible. I know when I was young, one of the best jobs I had kind of coming out of college was going to Accenture because I got to see so many projects and kind of the software in the business industry it was always a, you know, a new project. Sometimes it would take long, but you know, after a year, you're onto a new thing, learning a new technology, a new you know, part of business. 
Um, so I think from from coming from you know when you're when you're in a situation where you have a lot of time, I think it's important to experience a lot of things. That should be the priority, just to experience a lot of things. So it's okay to do a lot of things. And so it's okay not to maybe accomplish what you want to in any one of those things because you can't go as deep or get as good as you want. All right, I gotta cook dinner tonight. Uh, we're doing beef chili. It's gonna take like an hour. But since it's a Sunday, it's a good time to do one of the hour-long Blue Apron recipes. And so I think, you know, the key to focus is, the, is, is, is figuring out what the most important thing is in your life. And, you know, obviously there's, there's multiple sections, whether it's work. And for me, it's like, High rise, it's marketing is the most important thing. But really for life, I mean, it's just spending time with my family. And so I, mean, I know exactly that it's okay if I can't spend time at a meetup I want to go to or if I slack on, on getting something else kind of done because if it's, if it's meeting one of those, those high priorities, I feel good. If it's not, it's okay. And so yeah, I think the, the key to kind of focusing on when you have a lot of stuff to do is, is getting clear on your priorities because then a lot of that stuff you just realize doesn't matter. An extra tip to this whole thing is, I mean, you, you hear it over and over again, the, the whole 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle, like 20% of the stuff that you do has like 80% of the impact. And it's probably even more like 10% of the stuff that you do has like 90% of the impact. Most people who are working on stuff, it just doesn't matter. And I see that with high rise. We work on some stuff and it doesn't move the needle for us. And it happens all the time, like 90% of the time. So I, uh, I gotta edit, edit some a vlog tonight. And it's kind of another example of just a priority. You know, getting the word out about me and getting the word out about the things I do, like high rise, it's n like more important at this point than learning to do more things or, or putting out more products. And so um, it, it focuses me, right? It, it just naturally, like I, there's, there's plenty of stuff I wanna work on tonight. Um, there's a new product, there's two new products I wanna build, um, kind of like side products that are interesting. But if they, right now I gotta get a daily vlog out because I've committed to doing this, this daily vlog. And so it's, it's easy, right? It's easy for me now to focus on just getting these vlog edits done because I know what my priority is. That is crazy. It's got like bloodshot eyes and wow. And I hope you dig these videos. Please smash the thumbs up. Please, if you're new here, subscribe. Every day I upload a new video talking about life and business and marketing and making products. And I will be here tomorrow. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Later.